And then this one, too, I don't think many people have thought much about lately, and that's interest rate risk. I mean, I know I was buying my first house back in the uh, early 1980s, yep. and the interest rates were way high. So yep. you had to deal with that. Mm. This is going to be particularly painful for people that are investing in bonds especially oh, bond sure. funds, sure. because as prices or interest rates, as interest rates go up, bond prices go down. Mm -hmm. So your bond's worth less and less. <laughs> well, that's a, that's yeah. a teeter-totter so right there. You, you think about a seesaw. So usually when interest rates are high, bond rates are low. Mm -hmm. Well, interest rates have been low. Bond rates haven't been that high either. So as interest rates start to go up, the bond prices are going to go they're going to go down. It's 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 not going to be good. So it's so, going to be if you're depending on that for income and retirement, you're going to be in a little trouble. So we don't like bond funds right now. And we then, haven't liked them for a while. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yep. And that's why it's important to yep. sit down with somebody yep. like you to, to figure it out. Inflation risk, and again, things are getting we, more expensive. We all know about. Well, that. Think about yeah. what you paid for your first house, and now think about what you paid for your last car. Oh, now, I, the older you are, the more you paid for your uh, the last <laughs> yeah. car the, compared to your first house. Yeah, they're very close. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. My dad, to thirty four thousand for his first house, three-bedroom, two-bath ranch in Lawrenburg, North Carolina, about 1,400 square feet. Just bought a car for 60000 the other wow. day, a pickup truck. Wow. So he, yeah, he almost paid double for the last car that he did the first house. And that was back in 1974 when he bought the house. So that's just how expensive things wow. are getting. Incredible. Yep. And you can't, you can't get it's gonna around. Happen. Well, yeah, you, make, you, you need your around. money to grow faster than inflation. That's what there it comes down to. Yep. And there are ways. It's not putting in the bank is losing money safe with it. You're, gonna, you're not going to perform up to inflation aspects if you have money in the bank account. Now, but next, you don't need to take a bunch of risk either, Steve, right. so that's important. Exactly. So the next thing, that, and this is something I know you talk to folks about every day, yep. and that's longevity risk. Yep. And the, you really have to look at this one. <laughs> the risk of living too long. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's, but it is. I never look at my life as living too long, but I no. know what you're saying. You could run out of money if you don't have money yeah, put aside exactly. for the future you who could live to be 121 or whatever. We do all our plans in our office to at least 121. Uh, that's how far we illustrate them, but they'll go forever for income. If you live longer than that. But 121, I'm, I think I'd be pretty happy if I got to 120. Yeah. Oh, I'd be happy at 120. <laughs> if we can cancel longevity off the longevity risk off the chart if we get to 121. Want to hear more? Head on over to financialsafari.tv or follow the Financial Safari on your favorite podcast app for new shows every week.